Hey, what's up guys? As promised, here's my updated tutorial on how to save your iOS 12.4 blobs on an A12 device running iOS 12.4. Now, is this process necessary to jailbreak? No, it's not, but it's a great idea to do this. It adds an extra layer of safety so you can recover your iOS 12.4 jailbreak if something goes wrong. Basically, if you save your blobs now, you'll be able to restore to an unsigned version of iOS, something that is not possible any other way. Anyway, without further ado, let's get directly into things. So to start off, you're gonna need to download a few things. You're going to need to download the latest version of the Chimera Jailbreak Utility. And again, we have links down below in this video's description that link directly to this latest update. It's version 1.3.8 for those who are wondering. And this version allows us to set a nonce on iOS 12.4 with an A12 device. This is an iPhone 10s Max. So we're gonna scroll down to set a nonce. Now you guys can set this to whatever you want, but you're going to have to remember it. So I usually do something simple like zero times and then 16 ones. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So with that in place, we can click set and we can go to the top and click set nonce. Now it already has set the nonce. The rest of this tutorial will happen on the computer. So go ahead and connect your phone to either a Mac or Windows based PC, I will have a tutorial for both in this video for the following steps. So here we are in Windows. Yes, we're starting off in Windows because I found a super easy way to get your AP nonce. That's the number one thing that we need. I found this SHSH device info extractor that again, I'll link down below in this video's description. But to start off, I created this little notepad which has our generator. You guys will need that if you ever go to use your blobs, you will need to set the same generator again. Now we need to get from the device our AP nonce, our ECID and our model number. So let's start off with a peanuts. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. We're looking for this file right here. If you guys have an A12 or A12X device, we'll go ahead and open that up. And the second you guys see this logo pop up, we can go ahead and get out of iTunes, cancel out all of this. But once this has popped up, then you can press any key on your keyboard. So again, really anything. I'll just press enter. And again, it's going to save our iPhone's AP nonce, uh, we can go ahead and exit out once it says extraction success, but I actually put it in a text file right here. So right here we have our AP nonce. If you guys see, it says the nonce is the AP nonce. So that's the information that we wanna save right there. Now I can already tell this worked correctly that Chimera did set the generator on iOS 12.4 on A12 devices because I recognize this AP nonce. Now of course it's going to be different for you as every single A12 device is going to have a different AP nonce with the same generator. And that's why we need to do this process. Anyway, the last two things we need are ECID and model number, and both of these can be found within iTunes under your iPhone summary page. Just double tap on serial number. There we have our ECID right there. And lastly, click once more, and there we have our model number. So these are the four pieces of information that we need real fast. Let me show you how to do this on a Mac, and then we'll finalize this tutorial video with actually saving our blobs. So on a Mac, again, we're going to need this same information as before. Now, you guys are going to need to download not statistics, again, down below in this video's description. Now with your phone connected, you can drag that in and then type negative T space 10 and click enter and it's going to place your iPhone into recovery mode once again and then it's going to output our iPhone's AP nonce and that's really the number one thing that we need for A12 devices. Now this is going to display our AP nonce 10 times and you guys just want to make sure that it is exactly the same every single time. So once the program has finished up it'll kick your iPhone out of recovery mode if all of these AP nonces are exactly the same if they don't change it all. That is the AP nonce that we need. We can go ahead and write that down, exit out of terminal, and we don't need this guy anymore. 
So the only other two things that we need are our ECID as well as the model number. Again, both of these can be found within iTunes under your iPhone summary page. Double tap on serial number. There's our ECID right there. And one more time, there is our model number. So once again, here's all the information that we need. Let's continue to the final step. So on to the final step of actually saving our blobs. So we're gonna go ahead and start out by copying our ECID. Again, head to this website. It's linked down below in this video's description. We can go ahead and enter that. We can enter our iPhone's model number, which again, mine is 116. And then right here, we need to select this checkbox to manually specify our AP knots. And that's the big ticket item here that we manually got. So we can enter that in, select I'm not a robot, and then finally click submit right here. You can go to this website in a couple of minutes and your blobs will be populated. Now, as you guys can see, I've been saving my blobs all the way back since iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. So that's why I was so familiar with this AP nonce. This will be my device's AP nonce that appears with this generator across all iOS versions. But this AP nonce is specific to my personal iPhone XS Max. And every single A12 device out there is going to have a different AP nonce. Anyway, the reason why I say save all of this information is you guys are going to need it if you ever want to save your blobs for say iOS 13 in the future. You won't have to go back and get this number every single time. You can enter this into TSS Saver right here. Um, it's not going to change with this generator. So you guys are going to need to remember your generator, your AP nonce, and then you guys need this information as well on TSS Saver if that's what you guys are using to save your blobs. Anyway, I hope everyone that wants to save blobs and is interested about them found that process to be simple enough to do it. I think this is absolutely crazy that it takes this long with an A12 device. Literally before, this is all you would need was these two pieces of information. You just enter your iPhone's ECID for say an iPhone 10, select iPhone 10, and then pretty much click I'm not a robot. You didn't have to do anything else. And these two pieces of information could be found with an iTunes. It used to be so much easier. And for every other device besides an A12 device, it's still applicable. You can still do it that way. That's how easy it is for every other device. But that is why I made this tutorial for A12 devices because I know it can be kind of confusing. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below if you thought this was helpful or if I skipped over anything. Thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.